Ashley to start us off with an eagle. What do you think the best you can do is on this guy and that uh, Fujikara bag? Six, oh man, look at all those clubs. Dang. I think this is a Betnardi Studio stock. Yeah, this thing. Oh man, that is. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we're at the Oldsmar Flea Market just north of uh, Tampa. There's the sign for proof, but uh, always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we could use ourselves or sell online, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Also, we just passed 130,000 subscribers, so thank you guys thank for you guys. that. Let's see if we can't keep things rolling here and find some good golf clubs today. Well, that's an interesting start to the day. I've never seen a uh, golf club cigar clip. That's a new one for sure. Hopefully that's not the only golf club we find today. Nope, there's some right there. Sweet. Got a Lady Hagen bag with some Ram clubs in there. Old school ping bag is pretty sweet. Callaway Big Berthas, Nikon 3DX. These things were super popular on like the uh, Corn Ferry Tour. I think, um, what's his name? Angel Cabrera won the uh, US Open with that. Really? Yeah. Cool. Also, pretty sure Angel Cabrera is still in, still in prison. That's a lot of golf balls. Yeah. Bunch of uh, golf stuff. Got some baseball stuff too. Under Armour Speed shoes. Probably Big Bertha, Forwood. Prices are pretty good. It's only twenty bucks for that. ERC, comment below if you remember these. The ERC, the uh, driver was illegal. The face was uh, basically too thin. That coefficient of restitution was too much. And the RNA and the USJ like argued about it. Got some uh, Nike Forge combo knockoffs. Ben Hogan medallions. Ben Hogan Apex 2s, Ping I 2s. How's it going? It's kind of a joke, the guy made that. But look at the detail. Oh, wow. Look at the detail that he put into it. Put all the screws. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of work into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Fujikura bag is sweet. How much is your Fujikura bag? Fujikara, uh, $35. $35? Fujikara. Cool. It's a stand up and it's some. It's a nice bag. Yeah. It's got the kickstand on it. We'll probably be buyers of that. We'll look around a little bit more too. Sure. Thank you. And I've got a nice Callaway one. Got okay. Callaway one hanging. We've got a RBZ Taylor name. Oh, nice. Yeah. We've got some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the R500. Yeah, I think it's just too big. As yeah, I have it's brand new. But yeah, I have one of those. It's not in nearly as good a condition. Yeah, I got that at an auction actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm a little flexible on those prices. Okay, great. What do you think the best you can do is on this guy and that uh, Fujikara bag? 60. 60 on that. Cool. 20 on the bag. So $80? Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Well, how about that for a start to the day? We got a TaylorMade SLDR Mini for uh, $60, and then this Fujikara bag is awesome. I've never seen that one before. And a bag to get more clubs. Yeah, you put, fill it up with uh, some uh, golf clubs. Although we're pretty close to the car, so we might as well just start it there. No one's bought the uh, the stogie. There was a putter called a stogie in there. Yeah, I know, that's why that was, was kind of cool. funny. Oh my goodness, that Hogan bag inside of the barrel. That that's is amazing. amazing. I don't know if it's for sale. It's not the best condition, but that thing is amazing. We have the uh, basically the ping version of that. Yeah. That might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Let's go uh, inquire within. Do you know if that uh, Hogan bag is for sale? The one in that bucket? It's, but it, if it's in the bucket, it's not very good. Though. Okay. And would it be for sale though? Well, it, it just wouldn't be very good. Though. Yeah, we, we kind of collect the Hogan stuff, so we'd be interested oh. in it. 
I think I got a huge. I got a big huge. Oh. Wait, which one? Show me which one you got. Here. Yeah, it's right over right here. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, my big one. Yeah. No, not really. It's not for sale? Okay. Thank you, though. Thanks. That was weird. Yeah, because she could have just put the clubs in the bucket instead of the bag. I don't in the know. Bucket. Oh well, we tried. That would have been. That one wasn't as good as condition as the penguin that we got. Yeah. But that one might be cooler because of the colorway. Mm -hmm. Oh well, we'll find another one hopefully one day. Check out all of these jerseys. This is crazy. Old Jaguars one, Mark Brunel. This is like jersey overload. Colorado, right yeah, Colorado <laughs> Avalanche. This is the most hockey jerseys I've ever seen in Florida. Although we are in hockey town, Florida. Yes, we are. Still, the statement's still true. Wow. Well, you guys are probably bored. We'll meet you at the next spot. <laughs> I feel like I start every single scene with, oh, look at that bag. But well, look at that bag. A little Den Caddy. What, what brand is that? I don't know. Unknown. Two to be determined. Get down there. <laughs> Razor. Razor. Bunch of drivers. Some random junior clubs in here. Oh, a bunch of uh, clubs in here. Taylor made super fast. Uh, Who? <laughs> You're stepping on one, <laughs> not you. Callaway Bertha, Big Bertha knockoffs. Oh, there's probably something good back in there, but I ain't gonna die and try and find it. No. 975 D. Well, oh, speaking of dying. Harrison shaft in there. I thought that was the EI-70 shaft. That would have been an all-time classic. Mm. Still a classic, but EI-70 or the UST Pro Force. Definitely more classic. I think it's this store, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe they have more inside? Yeah. Oh, this one's got AC. Oh, man, look at all those plugs. Dang. I was they have more inside. Thumbnail time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow, look at all these wedges. CG12, Cleveland 588, couple of Cleveland 588s. Personalized golf club. Gravity backs. It's not room enough for both well, of us. Big club for <laughs> <laughs> Anything that'll help, right? I found out if you keep your head down, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Take anything that'll help. I don't know. My kid's finally catching on. When they start to beat you, that's when you know you need to quit. Yeah. <laughs> or be proud well, at least. That's my main goal. Like. <laughs> yep, be proud. I said, I said, you know, I said, I quit playing for six years. I said, and where I used to be and where I am now is night and day. <laughs> oh, we got a, a full set of the uh, Callaway uh, GES or however you say that, guess ones with like they're like hollow oh yeah yeah at first when we like the first time i saw that i was like there's something wrong it's it like break? broken or yeah. something yeah it freaked me out and i don't think it has the irons to be kind of full to get cool to get a full set of those That's what mm -hmm. right here. You want a long drive <laughs> oh, yeah. killer b shaft yeah four foot killer b shaft Whew. be the longest club i hit lefty <laughs> <Yeah. Got laughs> the only one <laughs> Got a righty. Oh, it's at home actually. I took it home and it's nice and I used to hit a killer beat. Oh, yeah. Before I quit, man, I, I just crushed that. <laughs> I've hit him before, but I hit him pretty far into the woods. <laughs> Some more out here, too. Oh, nice. Bunch of stuff. Voodoo Daddy. Shot one of my best. Yes, yeah, it's a center shaft. Shot one of my best rounds ever with this putter. Odyssey Dual Forest Rossi. Oh. Hogan radial putter. Oh, this is one of the ring putters. You remember we had? This is actually pretty good. It yeah, looks super it goofy, but it's pretty good. Speaking of good, but looks funny for a Balada insert. Yeah. I like the feel of them. Oh, the Odyssey Dual Force Blade. Yeah. It's 
kind of funny how it's clearly uh, 8802 style coffee, but they just call it the 882. Yeah. There's probably some meaning to that that I don't know, but. Or just, just far enough away not to get copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the pink iron, two. Oh, two iron, nice. Nice. Got some good stuff. What do you buy a bundle of them? What do you think the best you can do on these guys are? That's tough. Uh, honestly, I usually get 35 on those. This I was getting 50 on this one. You should get 20, 20 on that. That one there, I get 20 on. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. That sounds good. <laughs> hey, them old burners hit, man. Yeah, they're really good. They, they really do. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Yeah. Hey, will you guys do a picture with us? Oh, yeah, sure. Guys. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. How's it going? Good. This is my son, Marco. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, he's he's a big collector. We come here like every week. Oh, man. nice. Yeah. Yeah, you went. Cool. Can we do that? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Here. Here. Oh, I just, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. There we go. You in there, Marco? <laughs> there we go. Thank you, guys. Yeah, How's your day going? All right. Pretty good. Yeah, we found yeah. some good stuff so far. You guys find anything? We're here quite a bit. Yeah, this guy, he always says a lot of putters, uh -huh. but he knows his Odyssey putters, so he doesn't give us any deals. <laughs> no, that's why we got one, I think. I know, I'm just kidding. We bought a bunch of stuff off you, man. Yeah, you're really good. Well, you guys have a good one. You I hope too. you guys enjoy while you're over here, yeah, man. Yeah, already enjoying it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. Yeah, good luck take on the easy. hunt. Thank you, you too. Oh, that needs to be bought. That's pretty sweet. Your new suitcase. How much do you want on the bag? Ten. Ten? You need it? I kind of need it. All right, there you go. <laughs> good taste. <laughs> Most is light. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You enjoy. too. Might have a few later and then enjoy it. That was great. Thank you. This guy's still yelling. Yep. He's got potato conditions though. I'm going back with those. Yeah. Yep. Work up and appetite. All right, we'll go through that. I ain't tossing the bed. Right here. Take notes. Figure out why. I'm on me now. I knew he was gonna yell, but it still scared me. Also, that ball was amazing. Stupid. He's scrum on the other side. Ernie. That's too close. That's twenty-five. Twenty-five. eBay is rolling for six. Really? It's brand new. <laughs> you need it? I kind of need it. Okay. Would you do it, Tony? Uh, <laughs> I had to try. <laughs> I don't. Let's buy it that. Did I thank you very much? Yeah. She's I'm always got to make an offer. Well, I don't like spending money on myself, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, on eBay, that's a, that's a $60 bill. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very there much. You go. Thank you, have a great day. You, you too. too. Looking snazzy. I Almost know. matches your outfit. <laughs> You're jammed out. <laughs> there was a pun there, but I totally missed it. Oh, nice. King Zero, nice. <laughs> Tell them what you got for. $60. Nice. That's, that's pretty good, good right? Yeah, that's yeah. a good deal. Where'd you find that at? Uh, same place you guys got. Oh, oh really? Getting in there. Got it. You got the good yes. stuff before us or after us. <laughs> he gets us. way better deals than we get. <laughs> so sometimes we'll send me in for that too. Yeah, I'm sure you do too, right? <laughs> his, his negotiating strategy is he just kind of stands there quiet. <laughs> and the price is just like... <laughs> nice. Whatever Wait works, till they right? get to their best price. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey. Oh, you got him down. Like Marco did his frozen face and he just goes like... <laughs> and it just starts like coming down. Negotiated like a pro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Awesome. Well, thanks for hanging yeah. with us. Good it was to awesome. You, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Ashley. It was a pleasure. Congrats on the find. Yeah, Start thanks, a channel. Guys. You'll do well. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. The largest golf store we've ever seen at a flea market. Let's see if they got any good deals this time. 
We got a uh, Bobby Grace putter in here last time. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy that this is just at a flea market. Bridgestone bag. No way. It's amazing. Lifetime supply of Kirkwood signatures, five ninety nine. A dozen. I might have to pick up some of those. The second version of them were terrible though, so you gotta like go through them. Yeah, gotta be careful. Yeah. Bridgestone bag, Titleist staff bags, awesome. Bags on bags. Strixon, 58 degree, don't see too many Strixon wedges. Bridgestone, oh, look at this, we got an Adele wedge. Oh, nice. I think we found a cool Nike wedge here Whoa. last time too. Yeah, and we got a Mizuno wedge too. $29.99 on an Adele wedge. That is getting bought for sure. See any other good ones? Phil Rogers, Trusty Rusty. Mm -hmm. Classic. Oh, Hopkins Tour. $29.99 on that. DJ was signed with Hopkins for a while. I'm not sure if he still is. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Was another oh 14 what in the world why are there so many like high-end random brand they're all 29.99 too i didn't these pick are that like up. that's why i thought that oh was... really yeah i didn't I see mean... you oh I, was... I thought it said yeah i misread it yeah you got 14 wedge a dell wedge and a hopkins six, but i didn't follow through yeah literally priced down the uh, line <laughs> perfectly bunch of single irons we'll get into the good stuff here in a second although it's gonna be pretty hard to beat these wedges oh here we go this is my last time I remember the Nike Engage. Oh yeah, Nike Engage. We found a full set of the, oh, the original uh, Nike Raw one. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I think those are a little bit more. I think that's why we put them back. Yeah. We found a full set of those that uh, played against sports for a crazy deal. Like two weeks after that. I, I think they were like $29.99 each. Yeah, I remember that. The Hogan I haven't seen before. Hogan Magnum Plus. <laughs> yeah, they're cast irons. The old school ones didn't do very well. Why would you buy a cast Hogan iron yeah. when they make some of the best four jigs? Yep. It's always weird when Callaway took over and then their first big one was the basically a Callaway Big Bertha knockoff. Yes, it literally looks identical. Apex MB. Usually when you see uh, single irons, they're like way older. There's some good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And a shovel of Callaway. Those things are so <laughs> easy to hit. Yes, but they look so strange though. Adam staff bag. We have one of these, but it has a player's name on it. The big of the razor razor golf. golf there we go first time i've seen one now we've got two full bag of uh, old school penguins ping karsten blonde one we have the uh ping zing blonde mm -hmm. actually hit that really good i played terrible that day that we were messing around with it and i hit that one perfect yes. <laughs> we had a bunch of modern clubs and i hit that one the best it is perfect accuracy 15 degree 910 f 80 dollars basically at or a little bit below uh, ebay newer king cobra sz 119 that's a pretty good deal on that ping glides mill grind tailor oh we got some pxgs up here you're not allowed to get too excited oh, the original box too that is sick <laughs> perfect condition Box, Percussion control. Oh. Those are awesome. No problem. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the putters. Tons of stuff over here. Got a whole section of Bobby Grace Fat Lady swings. These things are awesome. This is the most I've ever seen in uh, one spot. We bought the uh, Bobby Grace putter here last time. Fat Lady swings, thirty nine ninety nine. Not a bad deal on that. I think this one is the uh, Cobra one. It has the uh, insert on it. Yeah. If they had the uh, the Cobra insert on the uh, McGregor V-foil putters, yeah. those would have been... Winning combo. Yeah, winning combo for sure. I like the head structure of the V-foils, but the insert was weird. Oh, look at all of these uh, square strikes. That's awesome. That is the most square strikes I've ever seen at one place. This one's got a... Uh, hey, what shape is that? An iDrive. Do they make it into it? Turn it into a uh, driving iron. There it's you go. It's your favorite shot in golf. It's full chipper. Yeah. You can play it every uh, distance now. Yeah. $39.99 is not bad. not a bad uh, deal on the uh, square strikes. We would have gone crazy over those a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, got a uh, Kirk Curry putter over here. Ping blackout grip. $59.99. Kirk Curry super, super underrated. Made putters for uh, Wilson for a while. 
Oh, this, I think this is actually the exact putter that we got uh, last time we were here. What a game last time. We got the softy one of this. Mm -hmm. $59.99, that's not a bad deal. Oh, nice, we got the uh, Ping Dock putter. Nice. We found the uh, Tour Issue like prototype of this at a uh, garage sale uh, from a PGA Tour it player. It's like the putter I used for a really long time, but then I was like, I probably shouldn't have this in my bag. Yeah. But I putted really well with it. One day she was so, like, I'm kind of afraid of that thing getting yeah, stolen. Yeah, so. be very disheartened if it did. We got a triple track over here. Let's see what they're going getting on the uh, triple track. 229. Oh, I think this is a Betnardi Studio stock. Yeah, this thing. Oh man, that is awesome. My favorite head shape, kind of like the uh, Odyssey White Hot number five or a fastback Scotty Cameron. It's only 160 bucks. That's actually a pretty good deal on these. One of our subscribers sent us the Japanese uh, version, not of this model. Well, it was basically the same head shape, mm -hmm. but. Uh, that, he sent us some crazy stuff, Vivek. Yeah. Yeah. He's, Thank you again, because that was some crazy stuff. Yeah, Nike Oz putter. Definitely going to get, we'll see what we can do on the uh, price, but. That's really cool. That is, that's amazing. Oh man, Ashley's. Uh, yeah, I just turned the corner and started hyperventilating because oh, it's way too much Nike. Yeah, it's all Nike stuff. That's Nike so overload. Cool. Got the Victory Red Lob Wedge. Got some Nike Vapor Flies. 149 that's not actually that bad on it they've gone up in price like crazy lately and these things are so easy to hit mm -hmm. the drivers sound terrible but the uh, hybrids are so easy to hit they like held their value so well I'm even like immune to the driver sound now yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you get a uh, earbud or uh earplugs earplugs you're good to go yeah 39.99 and still beat up you probably get just that on uh, ebay yeah. they've held How their value so well you see like a nike section though not very often also here's a full set of casco hybrid irons Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, let's go see what best we can do on these uh, <laughs> clubs. End the sentence, John. <laughs> yeah, I'm Features going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it was a Cameron, but I yeah. can see. Okay, he, he's the boss, so we, we're going to add up all the retail prices and then we'll bundle it together. Okay, okay. great. 160 and 30 is 190. 30 is 220, and 30 is 250. That sounds great. Sweet. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay, Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Going to try and get a few holds in here before it starts to uh, rain, but lots of good stuff at the uh, flea market yeah, today. Yeah, we need to get out to that one more often. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, go out to that one uh, more often. Some uh, good stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to try everything out, play a little uh, three-hole challenge. If we shoot bogey golf or better, we'll get a, a treat, an undetermined treat this time. But, to be determined. Yeah, yeah, to be determined. We'll keep the uh, suspense going, but first up, I think I'm going to try and drive the green with the uh, TaylorMade SLDR Mini. That thing is super nice. Yeah. Incredible shot. Wow. That'll do. Well, that was one of the best shots that I've ever hit. It landed on the green and stayed there. It's 275 yards. That is quite the poke for me with the uh, mini driver, so excited about that. Ashley's uh, up. You got all the pressure on you to make an eagle. You're world's greatest putter. I have uh, confidence in you. Let's see if we can get started off with an eagle. Ashley, to start us off with an eagle, our most expensive. Oh! I'll take a tap in, Birdie. Okay. Here you go. I feel good? Oh, yeah. I love that head shape, too, looking over it. Uh-huh. Sweet. Well, I'm kind of sad we didn't get an eagle on that one, but the next shot is mine, so hopefully we get a hole-in-one, which would also be an eagle. Oh, I hit the easiest to hit club that we have. You hit the hardest. Both of them are pretty good shots. <laughs> Especially for me. Well, I don't know what it is about Ping I-2 two, two irons. Last year, I almost got a hole in one with one, actually. I didn't hit this one nearly as well. Left John short of the green, but nothing new here. Ooh. That sounded good, though. I can't read greens even when I'm chipping. Oh, no. <laughs> Ashley, to save us for par. Oh, man, that was way more uphill than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, oh, well. Bit. Well, good thing we birdied the uh, first hole. Next yep. hole is a beast. Be 
on my hat. Oh no, I don't see it though. You should be okay. Wait. Oh, there he is. Oh. Keep moving. Well, I was attacked by nature right there. Our first uh, nature shot of the uh, day. And this hole is going to attack us because it's an absolute beast, especially into the wind. But I'm going with one of my old trusty uh, fairway finders, the Adams Insight. This thing, the uh, driver of it, the BUL, the big, ugly, long 5000, is still one of the longest and most forgiving drivers that I've ever tried. So if you guys are on a super tight budget, then you get them for like $25 on uh, eBay. So definitely be on the lookout for those. But uh, hopefully my ball will be on the lookout for the fairway. Well, that thing got caught up a little bit in the wind, but it went dead straight. So like I said, the driver in the three wood, super forgiving and a super good option if you're uh, on a budget. Didn't uh, go overly far though, so I think we're gonna have close to 150 yards left. You wanna go with the uh, Adams Hybrid? Sure. An Adams Hole, there you go. That's a good angle. Well, no retakes here. Don't really need to explain what happened there, but on the plus side, I did leave John with a good angle to try out another wedge, so I meant to do that. No, not really. Oh, that's right at it. Go, 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 go. Go! Oh, man. Well, left it a perfect spot for you to try another wedge. There you go. Get to try them all. That's what we plan to do. Perfectly placed once again to try out all the wedges. I gotta say the uh, 14 one felt pretty good, but the Hawkins one uh, felt a little bit better. And it's a little bit cheaper than uh, both of the other ones. Ashley's going with the Adele wedge, the most expensive of them all. Fancy. Fancy. Oh, it came off the toe. Roll out, roll out. Ah, oh, man. That would have been perfect, but you hit way off the uh, toe. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, on the plus side, John hasn't hit a long putt yet, so we'll probably have a short putt after this. Yaritos. Very satisfying. Oh no, it's Ray Day got our treat. I've never seen a uh, Yarito Slurpee thing before. That was really oh, cool. That's really good. Also, I've never seen an umbrella with holes in it. What's yeah. the point of that? What's the point of a umbrella with holes in it? But uh, overall, a uh, fun day. Yeah. Got a bunch of good stuff. We got a Bet Nardi, three uh, little known uh, brands basically for the uh, wedges. Mm -hmm. Those are all really good. I like the uh, Hopkin one the uh, best, but. Yeah. Uh, Definitely a fun day. Also, shout out to Nico who had the uh, best find of the day. That was so cool. We didn't see it. That was cool. Yeah, fun. he uh, definitely got the better of us there. Yeah, but uh, yeah. shout out to uh, Nico and his dad. That's kind of cool. Me and my dad used to go to uh, the golfer's warehouse every weekend and go hunt for clubs. We should try his negotiation skills yeah, too. Yeah, he's got next level negotiation yeah. skills coming soon. Pawn hack, or yeah, pawn shop hack number two. Just stand there until they get to the price that you uh, get to. But uh, overall, a uh, fun day. Yeah. Probably uh, one of our best flea market finds of the uh, year, and definitely my uh, best golf shot ever captured on camera. Yes. It didn't look like as close uh, when we got to the green, but I literally thought it went in the hole when oh, we were on the tee box. That was awesome. You didn't let it rain on your parade. There you go. <laughs> Dad uh, joke of the day. <laughs> we had a bee pun. We had nature. Yeah, We've got food. Fun packed day. You there you this? go. Mm, kind of like, seems like it'd be too much sugar. <laughs> you gotta get one shot. One shot? Yeah, that's what it's basically gonna taste like. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, too sweet for John. You're sweet enough to, as is. <laughs> and with that note, we'll see you guys. <laughs>